What is your food, my friend? Do you worry what you must eat? Jesus said, Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. So my friend, you worry only for what you, you want to eat, to feed your body. But the most important is to feed your spirit, my friend. As the body needs food to be fed, also the spirit needs the food. So what is the food of the spirit? Jesus taught us a lesson in John chapter 4, verse 31 to 38. In the meantime, his disciples urged him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. Therefore disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him anything to eat? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. So this was the food of Jesus, to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. So is the food what Jesus wanted to do the will of his Father is your food also. Do you worry for the Spirit to feed your spirit by the food to make the will of God? The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. So my friend, your spirit is starving because not only with bread that man lives, but every word that comes from the mouth of God. Some people think that reading the Bible, Bible studies, and theologies, they can feed their spirit. No, my friend, he is very clear. But every word that comes from the mouth of God, so only Jesus and the Holy Spirit speaks in us. You must hear his voice, my friend, only from the mouth of God. So don't think that reading Bible you are feeding your spirit all the time. So you need to hear his voice because the words must come from the mouth of God. So even if you read the Bible, you are starving, my friend. You need to hear Jesus, the words of Jesus in you. If you don't have a personal relation with Jesus, you are starving, my friend. So you need to feed your spirit by the words that come from the mouth of Jesus. And Jesus said, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day, for my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. This is the food to eat the word of God. Jesus is our food. He, we can feed our spirit having relation with Jesus. We can pray. We can hear his voice. As the living Father sent me and I, be, I, I live because of the Father. So we, he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers ate the manna and are dead. He who eats the bread will live forever. These things he said in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. But therefore many of his disciples turned away 
when they heard this said, this is a hard saying, who can understand it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples complained about this, he said to them, does this offend you? When then, if you should see the Son of Man ascend where he was before, it is the Spirit who gives life, my friend. The flesh profits nothing. The word that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. So if you want to feed your spirit, my friend, only Jesus that comes, the, the words of Jesus from his mouth can give you, feed your spirit. Because it's spirit and life. And in John chapter 6, verse 26 and 27, Jesus answered them and said, Most assuredly I say to you, you seek me not because you saw the signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because God the Father has set his seal on him. So people, Jesus, he fed 5,000 people with fish and bread and loaves. So they were seeking him because they seek only what to eat to feed their body. But Jesus said to them, you are seeking to me not because you saw the signs, but you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life. So my friend, don't labor for the food which perish for this world. If you la labor only for this world, you will perish with him. But if you labor for God, you will live forever. So come to him. Ask the food, the real food, the words that comes from the mouth of Jesus. And have relation with him. Don't take only the Bible. Let Have relation with Jesus. Beside his feet, you can feed your spirit and you can have life in you, my friend. So come to Jesus only. He can feed your spirit. By the Holy Spirit, he can fill you and you will, be, you will feel the, the power of God in you and you will live the holiness. So be careful or your hearts will be weighed down with dissipation, drunkenness and the anxieties of life. And that day will close on you unexpectedly like a trap. So Jesus is coming, my friend. Don't weight your heart with dissipation, drunkenness, and anxieties of life. Because Jesus is coming soon. It will be unexpectedly like a trap. If you only think to feed your body with the food of this world, but only feed your spirit with Jesus. And, and make the will of your Father, which is to, to live holiness and to follow Jesus. God bless you.